In Algebra 2, Section 8.6, we're dealing with solving rational equations of inequality. So the easiest thing for us to do when we're dealing with all these fractions, and it can get a little overwhelming if we're trying to do it longer ways, but the best thing is to find a lowest common multiple, and then get rid of our denominators using the canceling out method. And that way, we end up with an equation that's not, um, that they're not fractions, which is ideal. So my lowest common multiple here, because this is 1, right, would be LCM, it's supposed to be an M, is P plus 1, P minus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my LCM and multiply everything. Because when I do to 1, I have to do to one side. But when I'm multiplying and dividing, I have to do it to every single term. So anything um, separated by equal sign, plus or minus, right? So this is P plus 1, P minus 1. I'm multiplying this by, this is in parentheses, P plus 1, P minus 1, and then P plus 1. P minus 1. So, in this case, the P plus 1 cancels out, leaving me with P minus 1 times P squared minus P minus 5 equals the P minus 1 cancel out. I end up with P plus 1, supposed to be an equal sign, equals P squared minus 7. And then the last one is plus p, p plus 1, p minus 1. So, from here I'm going to multiply it out and see what we can combine. This will be p cubed minus p squared minus 5p minus p squared plus p plus 5 equals p cubed minus 7p um, plus p squared minus 7. And then this would be, I'm going to work it out here. Hopefully you can see it. This is p squared plus p. Bring this down. p cubed minus p squared plus p squared. What is this? p minus 1 is times negative 1 is negative p. Negative 1, positive p squared, negative p squared. These cancel out. I end up with p cubed minus p. So positive p cubed minus p. So let's combine my terms on both sides, and then we can shift everything to one side. So we have p cubed. We're going to do minus p, uh, p cubed. There's no other p cubed, so we're going to put it there. Negative p squared, and minus p squared gives me negative 2p squared. Negative 5p plus p gives me negative 4p plus 5 equals p cubed. p cubed is my um, 2p cubed. Um, negative, oh, this is plus p squared. And then um, negative 7p minus 8p, and then negative 7. So let's bring everything to this side and see what we get. subtract negative 2p cubed, negative 2p cubed, <coughs> negative p squared, plus 8p, 
plus 7. So then this cancels out. This, 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 this cancels out, leaving me with just zero on this side. I end up with negative p cubed minus p squared. Is it? One, negative three p squared. And then negative four plus eight is plus four p. And then plus twelve. So this and this, I'm going to factor um, negative p squared. This leaves me with p plus 3. And then this leaves me with 4 p, pl positive 4 p plus 3 equals 0. So then I end up with negative p squared plus 4, p plus 3 equals 0. So my two answers are negative p squared plus 4 equals 0 and p plus 3 equals 0. So this would be p equals negative 3, that's my first answer. And the next one, minus 4, is negative p squared equals negative 4, divide by negative 1, so p squared equals 4, p equals plus or minus 2. So we have three answers. We have p equals plus, sorry, they can't see that. So our three answers is p equals plus uh, 2, negative 2, and negative 3. Now, it says to check the solution, so I have to plug it in, each one of these three, to see if they all work in order to make sure that it is an answer. Um, so, but I don't want to waste your time. We all know how to do that. If, it, if you don't end up with the same number of both sides, then it's wrong. So it's not guaranteed that all three work, but those are the three solutions to these. And again, everything from here on down, you've done. It's, it's a not new stuff. The only new thing is, is to find the lowest common multiple and multiply each of these so that we cancel out the denominators and whatever's left over, we have one equation. All right? So pause and write that down. And I don't think I gave you a problem for this page. 576 numbers 3 and 13. Well, actually, I didn't want the video to be too long, but pause and put this, and we're going to do one more problem. Okay, so in this one is inequality, which is the same rules. But remember, the only difference is if I multiply or divide by a negative, I have to flip the sign. So the same thing. This LCM should be a little bit, um, it should be uh, less than those equations. We have 3K, 9K, and 3. So 3K, 9K, and 3. So I need the highest. This is the same thing as 3 squared, right? This is 3, 3. So I need a 3, I need a 9 two threes, because this is three squared, so I need two threes, and then one K. So my LCM is nine K. So I'm going to take this LCM and I'm going to multiply it by each one. Okay? So this one is not going to be as long. Um, this, the Ks cancel out here. This cancels out, leaving this with just 3. This whole thing cancels out, and then this cancels out, leaving this with just 3. So my new one is 3. And if you're not canceling all of them out, something went wrong. Okay? Um, so this one is 3 times 1. 
that's what's left over, plus this one cancels out, so just two, and greater than, um, this is three times two. So, what happened here? No, 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 this is just, this is three, I didn't actually cancel out the k, just the nine. So this is three k times two. Right, perfect. Okay, so then, I got rid of the variables for a minute, I was confused, okay. So three times one is three plus two is less than six k. Five is less than six k. Divide by six, I end up with five six is less than k. Right? That is a lot shorter. So go ahead and pause and write this down. And remember the problem I gave you here is, an ex is, is one of the more difficult problems, so it's not like you're going to be faced with that the whole time. But try page 576, numbers 3 and 13, 576, numbers 3 and 13, and I will see you in class.